Well, what's another characteristic of, of, of Gavin Newsom that people should be aware of? Uh, he is a huge consumer of conservative media. Um, wow. Even though he comes from San Francisco, even though he lives in a very blue state, he lives actually in a red county. His neighbors are all conservative. His wife's family is all conservative. His ex-wife, Kimberly Guilfoyle, now with Donald Trump Jr., that's the world that he surrounds himself with. So he watches Fox News at night. He watches, I'm sure he watches you guys on the first. He watches, uh, you know, any conservative media that he can uh, get in front of him. So he understands how conservatives think better than probably any other Democrat in America. He consumes the same media that we do. He knows the arguments. He knows what we're talking about. He knows what subjects we're interested in, in ways that other Democrats that just li exist in that CNN or MSNBC or big city newspaper bubble in ways that they don't. What an absolutely brilliant point. You're right. And that's so obvious, not only with the way he like interacts with like a Sean Hannity, conservative, but, but he, right, he maybe knows conservatives better than many conservatives even know conservatism. You're right, and about his family too, right? Wasn't it his in-laws who, right in the beginning of COVID, moved to Florida? They got, they got out yeah. of California uh, to get that guy. Wow, that's interesting. Why does he consume the conservative? Is it, is it so he can have a better command of the arguments to beat them? Is that it, or is there something else there? Well, the conservative media talks about him. The liberal media doesn't really talk about him. And I think that he's a narcissist and he enjoys being talked about, even if it's it puts him in a negative light. Um, you know, they're still talking about Gavin Newsom, and he can't not watch coverage about himself or his governorship or his future political aspirations, whatever the case may be. I, I think it's an addiction that he probably wishes he could get over, but he can't. Um, and and from the from the people I talk to who are close to him, it is legit. You walk into his office, you're not going to see CNN or MSNBC on. You're going to see a conservative network on. Yes. I try to tell people he's very slick. He's very yeah. good at this. Uh, what, what do you see in his ability to do what he does? Well, he's severely dyslexic to the point where he can't read a teleprompter. So what he has to do is he has to memorize everything. When he gives a speech, it's a speech that's literally coming from memory. So he's very good at having facts and figures and statistics at his disposal because he memorizes all of them like an actor would memorize the script to a movie or a television show. So he's very quick on his feet. He is someone who doesn't like to give long speeches because, again, they all have to come from memory. So when he does a state of the state address, for example, you know, he doesn't like to go in front of the legislature and give an hour long speech. He comes up with different ways of, of either doing it on the road where he has a series of smaller speeches or he did one at Dodger Stadium one time where he uh, during COVID where he was out by himself in the outfield. Um, so so. He's not long-winded in ways that politicians typically are. He knows how to speak in sound bites. He knows how to speak in ways that get picked up by the news media that, that advance whatever point it is that he's trying to make. And when you compare him to someone like Joe Biden, who's you know barely literate at this point, um, you know it's a night and day difference. Um, you know, Gavin Newsom is is slick and is packaged in ways that many politicians are not. Is Gavin Newsom running for president? Yes, of course he is. He's an incredibly ambitious person, and he's charismatic, and he's also got quite a god complex. Not a great triplet of things to have. He's very dangerous. He cannot be our next president. We expose all of this in our latest special on thefirsttv.com slash exposed.